Hey guys! My name is Jess Marie. If you are new to the channel, if you are already subscribed or have been watching these, then welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. Today I did a little smoky under eye, darker than normal look with lots of shimmery stuff. So if you want to see how I did this look, then please keep watching. Thanks! So today, I already put on my primer, sorry. I used my typical Tarte Timeless Primer in problem areas and then I went in with my Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer on the rest of the face. <clears throat> Sounds like my voice is going out. It is. I don't know why, but it is. So, sorry. So now that I'm all primed and ready to go, I need to put on foundation. So, like my little headband. Boop, boop, boop. I thought it was kind of cool. So now I'm gonna go in with my Black Beauty Wonder and my Josie Moran Vibrancy Foundation in Euphoric RD20. Get this mop out of the way. I'm just going to put it right on the beauty blender because I'm feeling lazy. So now that that's done, I'm going to go in with my two concealers because my skin is in a weird shade right now. The NARS Creamy Concealer in Light 2.5 creme brulee and the locket concealer by Kat Von D and L5 neutral just gonna put that right under the eye and then the lighter shade and blend that all out with the beauty blender So I'm pretty sure I've said this in videos before, but after I get my Beauty Blender damp, it's usually too damp, even after wringing it out. So I'll squeeze it in a dry towel to get it that perfect dampness, if that's even a word. I'll usually do that, and then if my Beauty Blender gets too dry, I'll just go back in with my Smashbox Primer Water. Spritz it, get it kind of wet again, but not too wet. Get that right under the eye, and then I'll bring it a little over the eyelid, but not too much. So now I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Okay, now I'm going to contour my nose since I'm using a liquid contour for the nose. I've, I've tried powders on my nose and they're just, it's not getting the look that I want. So I've been using this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. What is this shade? I don't know. 173? Yeah. It's super dark, but I blend it out and it's fine. But I use this little crease blending brush from Unicorn Lashes. It's just worked for me. So I get a little tiny dot on that and then I'll run it down my nose. Wipe off the excess. Like 
This stuff blends out really well, so it looks super dark right now, but it'll be fine. So then I get all the product off with a makeup rag. And then just start running it up and down. And you can even take some more of your normal concealer. And then that can all get bl blended together with your beauty blender. Just a little extra mist. So now that that's done, I am going to set my face with my Maybelline Master Fix setting powder. I use this big fluffy brush by Morphe from the Vegan set. I don't know why these don't have names. I really wish they did. Now that I'm done mostly with all the liquids, I get this down where I'll be putting my powder contour and that's really going to help blend all that out. Then I'll take my beauty blender again. Okay, now that that's done, it's time to contour. Going in with my Kat Von D shade and light palette as always and a little contour brush from Unicorn Lashes. Okay, now that, that is done, I take a little bit more setting powder and kind of cut that contour just a little bit more underneath. And wipe it off. Now, time for brows. I'm going in with my angled brush from the vegan set, Morphe's vegan set, and browsing by Benefit. So I'm going in with this waxy, darker brown first. Let's see if I can get this on camera right. So now that I got the general shape with the wax, I'll go in with the powder from the other side and just fill it in. For my preference, I like it a little lighter over here and then it goes to darker normally what you want when you do your eyebrows, but it's subjective. You can really do whatever you want. Now that you're done with that, if they're looking like, see right here, you can see a little bit of the line from the brush. Little brow and lash brush. This one's the Sigma E80. <clears throat> and kind of Push it up against your skin and blend that out a little more. And then obviously if there's lines outside where you want it, you can go in with your concealer. I'll usually take a really tiny flat brush, if I can get it to focus, and just Put a little on the brush. Oh, you make me wanna talk. 
And if you see a harsh line at that point, you can go in with some translucent powder or a foundation powder, kind of blend that back in. Voila, brows are done. And as always, I go in with eyeliner first because that's harder to fix than your, for me, it's harder to fix than eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna go in with my Morphe gel eyeliner in Slate and a little tiny eyeliner brush. I think I got this from like a Maybelline gel eyeliner back in the day and I've just kept it because it works. And I just get the product in the brush. And then you can go in with a makeup rag and kind of reshape the point to how you want it if that helps. I'm gonna go in with a little fluffy brush by Unicorn Lashes. I'm gonna dip into my Naked 2 Basics palette by Urban Decay and go in with the color Skimp. Why a shade right there? I'm just gonna use this as my all over the lid. So that's going to help blend everything out. Now I'm going to go in with this color Frisk right here. Just as a transition shade. Oh, I had to say that slow. Since I'm doing the bottom of the eye smoky, I'm going to leave the top a little more simple. And I'm going to go in just a tiny bit with this color cover right here. Just a little, right in the corner. Okay, so now that all that is done, I'm going to go back in with cover right here. I use this little angled brush. Lots of other people do it with different brushes, but this is the one that gets, that works best for me. And then I'm gonna go right under the wing. Now I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade. I'm done with that same angled brush and pack it right next to that wing. Okay, now that I've laid everything down that I want, I'm going to use this blending brush right here and blend that out. I'll pick up a little more of that dark undone color. Just pat. So that's not as dark as I want it, so I'm gonna go in with Sugar Pills Bulletproof with that little angled brush again, just to blend it in a little more with my eyeliner. Since I did use a gel eyeliner, you can put that on there and smudge that around, but I tend to have pretty bad luck with that, so. I'll just stick to eyeshadows. Just under the brow bone. Now it's time for blush and highlight. 
gonna go in normally, as usual, my Becca highlighter, Champagne Pop, and Flower Child. I'll use this little Unicorn Lashes blush brush, just slightly. And then my Sigma fan brush in F41 for the highlight. Now time for lashes. So this completes the look. I went a little bit with the lighter shades that I used and blended out a little more underneath just so it's not too heavy. And then I went in with some ColourPop liquid lipsticks. Let's see, I went with Ultra Satin Lip in Little Stitches and then went over that with an Ultra Glossy Lip in Tight Fit. We're ready to tie it in, lashes are on, good to go. You can do this look with a lot of different colors. It doesn't have to be cold, cool tone, blacks and grays. I've done it with brown. I've done it with purples. So if you do do this look, please post it on Instagram and tag me, gore underscore Jess Makeup. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. watching. I hope you guys have an awesome holiday and please subscribe. If you want, if you're into this kind of thing, subscribe, like the video. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.